yeah, it's late summer here right now, but if you recall uh, the last uh, video on heating your greenhouse, I was uh, showing you how to do that and what it would take and how much uh, you know heat it would require and all those things. And I figured out a basic way of, of providing enough additional heat for this greenhouse for this coming winter. And I've been working on that uh, during the summertime and I want to show you what I have been doing. Okay, as we zoom in here on my house, you can see below the greenhouse and above the sun deck. And right in between them, what you can see is what looks like a little white building there. That's the pump room, and that's what I used to store the water that was heating the greenhouse of this past year that I used. Now, I need more water, as I explained before, and I need to get up to 2,000 gallons, or maybe even better than that. Now to the left of that pump room, there's an empty space under the uh, sun deck there. Now it's, it's all full of garbage and lumber right now, but I'm going to clear that space out and build a uh, room right there to put some more tanks in so that I'll have more water and heating capacity for the greenhouse and for my house as well. Okay, let's go down to that empty space and show you a little bit about that. Now, I've cleaned it out pretty well. There's still a stack of bricks there. Now, this little building right here has got two water tanks in it already. And what I'm going to do is expand it out here to put two more water tanks out here. I used to have a big pile of lumber here. But right now, I'm going to get that pile of bricks that I've been storing there for years and years. We're going to get that out of there, and then what I'm going to do is make a nice uh, concrete flo floor in here to match the floor level in there, and we'll put two, maybe three more tanks, uh, 500 gallons apiece, in here. So, I guess it's time to uh, start working on cleaning this out. Okay, before we do that, let's talk about what's inside that little tank room right now. What I've got is two 500 gallon tanks and as you can see in the little drawing here that I have there's a there's an outlet that goes to the greenhouse water circulation system and that's what supplies water to the greenhouses and so forth and it also supplied the heat water to the greenhouse this winter. Of course there's a little fill line that's just a trickle fill line with a float valve on it and then there's of course the greenhouse return and that goes to the other tank and it just circulates around and as it uses water the refill line fills it up to make sure those tanks stay full. Now what I want to do is add more capacity to that so that's the purpose of building the extra uh, expansion on the uh, tank room and I'm hoping to put two large tanks in there to get maybe uh, up to uh, 3,000 gallons uh, capacity. And so those are going to go into the new room that I'm going to be building here real soon. And uh, there's a little picture of it, how it's going to look, I hope. So you see the greenhouse return now basically will go to one of those tanks, and then that tank will spill into the other tank, and then that last tank will spill into the smaller tank that was already there. What I've done here is I've had to clear all that garbage out of here. I don't know if you, if I showed you that, but there was just a big pile of garbage in here. And I started to lay the floor down here to put the water tanks on. And I found out that the way this thing is built, that I don't have to really tear anything out. I can leave these posts in and so forth. And I can still put two 1,100 gallon tanks in here. So instead of uh, shooting for the uh, 2,000 gallons that I need, I can easily get 3,000 gallons because in that pump room there's already 1,000 gallons. So I can get 3,000 gallons and do that quite easily, putting them right in here. And, uh, and, and then uh, if I can just heat that with the, some solar that I still need to buy and install, then this ought to be just great. Here's a little closer look at what I've done. and. Uh, show you here how that's looking and you can see what I've done here is has a little patch of fresh cement and I'm having to do this 
piecemeal instead of just you know putting a big pad out here and having a concrete truck come up here and do it because where I live I cannot get a concrete truck up here so I have to do this patchwork style uh, or I can't do it at all but anyway this is gonna work out pretty good next thing I've got to do here is uh, get all this cleared out and, and keep going this way with it and I'll have 3,000 gallons to supply this greenhouse and the house itself so this is working pretty good okay here's an update on the expansion of my heat storing capacity as you can see I've got the concrete pad completely poured and I've got a little construction material laying here but and, and then you can see the tank in there I've taken the wall off of that other little shed there and I'm going to expand it out this way and I'm ready to put in the tanks here right now but I wanted to show you how small these tanks are and uh, you can see here this this tank here is about I don't know four or five feet in diameter it's about four feet tall maybe a little taller now there's two of them see there's one back there too they're not very big really and they're 550 gallons each so there's a thousand gallons in there now I could buy two more of these and put them out here but I thought I'd build a tank and I'll show you how we're going to do that but a square tank here on this footprint which is six feet by six feet and five feet tall is uh, is about 1300 gallons so it's more than twice the capacity of those two tanks so that's what I'm going to do is put uh, a couple of those uh, 1300 gallon tanks out here and they'll uh, store a lot more water for me